Hey realtor friends, today the tip is condos. How does your lender handle condo financing? That's what we're gonna talk about today and I'm gonna give a quick overview as fast as I can. Initially, I wanna talk about the condos in general and the risk of a condo. So there's a couple of things you should know in regards to condo financing. Number one, yes, condos have a higher rate than a single family detached home. Number one. Number two, you could have the strongest buyer on the planet trying to buy a condominium complex, but if that condo complex is not approved and not lendable, I should say, then your strongest buyer in the world may not be able to get a loan in that complex. And the reason is risk, guys. So you have to think of it this way. Think, you know, think of it from a risk standpoint. The rates are higher on a condo versus a single family detached home unless your buyer brings in a lot more of a down payment on a condo, then it will level out in regards to rates on a single family in a condo. But the risk involved is because there's other people that own units within the development and the development could be not such a safe place, meaning there, there, there could be HOAs not being paid, there could be liens within the development, construction liens, there could be lawsuits and litigation from homeowners that own one condo out of 500 that could make that complex not lendable. So there's just layers of risk that you need to be aware of. Uh, and, and this is really what I want to go over today from an overall standpoint, those two things. And then I guess the bigger thing here is how does your lender handle condo financing? So you guys know me by now. I try to control it. We have a condo department that we work closely with. And here's how we handle it with our realtor partners. And this is what I would suggest for you. We, I tell my lending, my realtor partners, before you make an offer on a complex, give me the address and the name of the complex before you make an offer on the condo so that I can go in. We have a database of every condominium complex in the country and we look up that complex and we see, are there any pending litigations that we know about? Is there, you know, are they, have they been FHA approved or VA approved? Is it lendable per Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac guidelines? Um, typically, if it's a jumbo, but it's Fannie and Freddie approvable, we're going to be okay on a jumbo. But I tell my realtor partners, guys, call me, give me the address, let me look it up before you make an offer. Because like I said, sometimes you could have the strongest buyer on the planet, but if that condominium complex is not secure, meaning all of those things are not going on, uh, it, it might be hard to get a loan in there. So hopefully I didn't confuse you with that stuff. If you guys have a question, let me know. Condos with the prices starting to loosen up a little bit are becoming a little more popular out there. And I'd love to help you with any questions. You guys have a beautiful day. Let me know how I can help and I hope to hear from you soon.